Hi, this is Kelly Hilbert from Alpaca Direct, and we're working on the figure eight cast on, which is the last cast on for toe up socks that I will be showing you today. First, I wanted to show you, just give you a visual of how to I write number eight. So I go around to the left, circle around, and go around back up and join. So keep that in mind when we're doing the figure eight cast on because I'm going to show you how to do it. So to do the figure eight cast on, we need a slip knot. And the working yarn is the only thing that um, is used to make stitches. So we don't have to have a long tail. A six to eight inch tail works perfectly fine. So I have my everything in my left hand and I'm holding my tail and just keeping that slip knot stable. And I am going to go ahead by remembering that the way that we made the number with the pencil, go up and over through the center and back through. So we have one stitch on each one. That uh, slip knot does not count as a stitch. And when we're knitting, we get to the part where the slip knot is, we'll be taking it off and, um, and not using that slip knot for a stitch. We have one and one. And then sometimes if you offset your needles just a little bit, it makes it easier, just like the Judy's Magic cast on. So we have two up uh, and two. Remember the slip knot doesn't count. Three and three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Now that's what the figure eight cast on looks like in the front. And here's what it looks like in the back. Okay, so now I'm ready to begin knitting. So you can see my working yarn is coming off of this right hand needle. And I'm going to take that needle and pull it out and then begin knitting across the beginning of the sock. Now, when I get to the end, there we are. Now you can see the slip knots on that cord there. Now I'm gonna have to switch it and I will pull this one out and slide the stitches on. It just makes it easier to do it that way. And I have my slip knot here and that is not a stitch. So I'm gonna take it off and let it drop down. Now I'm gonna grab my working yarn, making sure not to work with my tail. That is not gonna do any favors for us and begin knitting across. And now I have completed the figure eight cast on using the magic loop method.